Hi everybody, Steve with CineSamples here. This is our highlight video for O, Forbes Pipe Organ, Sections and Layers. This pipe organ library is designed to give the composer power, flexibility, and control with regard to their organ timbre. There are several ways to customize each aspect of this, and it all starts with the layers and sections. One of the most important concepts for us in creating this library was making it a composer-friendly tool and not relying on the user knowing complicated pipe organ terminology or details of how these extremely complex instruments work. With O, you can easily access the sounds you want in a simple and powerful interface. There are four main sections, with different layers organized in each. These sections are Swell, Positive, Great, and Pedal. There is also the Contra 32 layer, available as its own section, with full independent effects control. Within each section, you can find layers, represented by the pipe faders. To enable a layer, click on the button underneath it, or adjust the level of the pipe fader. As you mouse over each pipe fader, you can see the name of the layer on the contact information display beneath the virtual keyboard. Each layer is comprised of samples of one or more pipes, which are combined in ways that organists would call registrations. The way that we have organized the layers within sections allows for new, formerly impossible combinations of sounds. In most pipe organs, the physical construction of the instrument allows for only certain combinations of registrations. Many pipe organ sample libraries have this same limitation, and with O, we removed this restriction to provide full flexibility and control. In the Swell section, we have additional dynamic control available using the Mod Wheel. This section has samples of pipes that are contained inside a wooden cabinet, which is opened and closed using a pedal to create dynamic contrast. We sampled multiple positions of this Swell cabinet to be able to create the simulated effect of opening and closing this cabinet to swell the sound as needed. This is a really cool way to add textural depth to a complex sound and create dynamic shapes. Whether you have multiple layers active and you want to bring out the swell timbre within them, or if you're playing a melodic line and want to add additional detail. When you load or adjust the level of a layer, the section containing that layer will be selected and highlighted in red. When a section is highlighted, the info panel will indicate which section is being edited, and the section effects controls will display which effects are active for that particular section, if any. Each section can be modified with effects independently or have effects applied as a master to all sections. We will cover the effects in more detail in another video. You can also adjust the volume and pan position for each section so you can have the different layers that you have active independently set at whatever level you like to create the blend of sound you want, and then you can adjust the overall volume of that entire section. You can also toggle on and off which sections are active using these buttons next to the name of the section or using the key switches that are assigned to toggle these sections. Notice that when you toggle a section in this way, it keeps the layers loaded. This is a good way to have your sound evolve over time without changing your entire preset. These toggle switches are normally assigned to C-2 to G-2, and when the pedal section is transposed down to the lowest possible range, these toggle key switches are moved up to F7 to C8. We'll talk more about the keyboard layout in another video as well. Something else that's really fun that you can do is randomize the loadout of layers using the dice roller icon. 
This is a great way to explore different combinations of layers. I'm going to load a blank preset here and click the dice roll icon and it creates a random combination of loaded layers. By simply randomizing the loadout of available layers within sections, you can create an enormous amount of variety in your sound. This is really great for exploring what the different layers sound like in combinations. And when you find a nice combination that you like, you can save it as a new preset. Don't worry, we'll also talk more about presets in their own highlight video as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video describing the sections and layers in O, Forbes Pipe Organ and you're feeling inspired to explore this and the other powerful features in this library. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the other highlight videos we have for this library and the other exciting things we have coming soon. Thanks for watching.